Guess what, everybody? We're talking about MCU looks. We're talking about MCU costumes. Leave a like if you could, because sometimes they might nail the costume out of the gate. Iron Man. And then also, like, your Captain Americas. You know, it's been altered to fit the real world, but it's mostly accurate, except for the little wings. No little wings. Yeah. I am confident in saying that is going to be a, a, a recurring theme here. Agreed. Lack of little wings. Lack of little wings, yeah. Lack of spandex, lack of little mm-hmm. wings. But then sometimes a character might evolve into their costume. So, like, Scarlet Witch was just like, I'm in a trench coat and boots and whatever. But then it eventually is like, like a flasher, just a trench coat and boots. <laughs> That's right. But then it's like it's the it's the whole deal. It's the crown. It's the, yeah. it's all the abilities and everything and and whatnot. So I've got a list here of characters that I think haven't quite nailed their comic book look or their most iconic one as of yet. And you're going to list them, and we're going to boo and jeer. We're going to boo and jeer and say, "Get accurate, idiots! Get more feathery wings." Yeah, we'll say. That's right. Speaking of Thor. Now, the Thor costume is a hard one to translate. I feel like they've done a pretty good job. And I know people might even be thinking, but James, Thor did have his helmet. He had it in Thor 1 and also in Thor Ragnarok. That helmet doesn't count, Ragnarok. I like the look, don't get me wrong. But Thor 1, he has his traditional Thor helmet. Little wings, little feathers. But what's wrong with the feathers, Mason? Not feathery enough? They're not real feathers, uh, which sure. they often were. Uh-huh. It was just a, like a soup bowl yep. with some feathers sticking That's off exactly it. That's exactly right. It was embarrassing, quite <laughs> frankly, and we want Chris Hemsworth to be embarrassed as presumably his comic book counterpart was back in the day. <laughs> exactly. You've got it all, don't you, Chris Hemsworth? Yeah. Well, you should also have embarrassment <laughs> for wearing a soup bowl with, with ostrich feathers attached to it. <laughs> Look, boo I, and jeer to you. Boo and jeer, I say also. I mean, I think they've done a pretty good job of that costume all in all. Yeah, and I mean, it's got a, you know, he's not... He's not the traditional mythological Thor. He's got to have like the red and the blue together yeah. and a cape is a heck of a thing to get working in the modern era. You know God what I mean? Right, yeah. yeah. Speaking of capes. How abs? Yeah, abs, <laughs> mostly abs. Vision, Mason. Go on. So well, I would I would argue, James, he's the, you know pretty accurate. He, both the ridiculously colourful version and the white vision version. But even but you're saying... Yeah, but even then, the ridiculously colourful version isn't as colourful as the original comic no, version. No, it's more, um, it's more nuanced. Yeah. You know, it, rather than a red, yes. there's an aubergine. Yes. You know what I mean? To be fair, we did get shades of it in WandaVision. When shades he, of aubergine? Exactly. You know, he, where he's wearing his more comic book accurate costume That's for true, Halloween. Yeah. But you're saying you wanted that all the time. No, absolutely not. You wanted the enormous disco collar. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. It's basically, it's a green spandex with an enormous yellow disco collar. Mm-hmm. You know, giant gem in his head. He looks like he's just wearing a stocking over his face. That's right. It's horrendous. It doesn't work. In live action. I think they did an excellent job of translating the vision. Nevertheless, boo and jeer. Boo and jeer, we don't like it. How about this? Go on. So Hawkeye in the comics, for yes. one, he's more purple, right? Mm, yes. And also he has more than seven arrows, which is what he seems to carry around in the movies. What is he also missing from the movies, Mason? Ah, uh, that ridiculous helmet. That's right. They attempted to replicate the r- ridiculousness with a ridiculous haircut yes. in the last one, but no, give us the helmet. Some people defend that haircut. We have a very specific video talking about it, but he's too old to pull it off and uh-huh. there's too much length at the back. It doesn't work for him. Yeah. I'm sorry. Maybe you can pull it off. That's right, you. I'm talking to you, Mason. Maybe I could. <laughs> but this guy cannot. I'm going to go. <laughs> anyway, I didn't mean it to devolve, but I think, why not give him a mask? See what he looks like. He doesn't need it because everybody knows who everybody is in this universe, but why That's not? Right, yeah. Yeah, I reckon bad. I reckon he'd look bad. Yeah, you're probably right. I would rather the haircut, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> Boo and G, you say? Yeah. Okay, fair Do enough. Do you think I could pull off the helmet, though? Definitely. Thanks, man. Because it looks so bad, you'd have to bloody pull it off. Am I right, everybody? Got him. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Here's one that's just more of a casting choice. But Aunt May in her movies has just gotten younger and younger, hasn't she? Agreed. She's yeah. a very old woman in the comics yeah. and has always been. But who wants to look at an old person? Yuck. Nobody ever. So yeah. every franchise, they just take her down a couple of decades, don't they? They should. Sure so who knows how old she's going to be next time around? She's probably going to be his niece. Yeah. That's how it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Boo and jeer, I say. Exactly. I say, grey the hair out, tie it up in a little bun, maybe mm. a cane and a shawl. Let's go for it. Let's do this for real. You know what Agreed, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Let's stop mucking around. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Yeah, speaking of feathers, Mason, I know you like talking about feathers, and we can talk about these two at the same time, both the falcon and vulture. Now, they've got cool mechanical wings in the movies. Mm. And but some, what we want is ridiculous mechanical wings. No, we don't even want mechanical wings. Fully feathered wings. <laughs> That's right. Which is what they have. Just a spandex and feathered wings. How do they work? 
Flapping. Flapping. It's mostly just answer. flapping, yeah. yeah. Same the way Namor the Submariner's like little wings on his ankles work, just flapping. There's rumours he's going to show up in the next Black Panther. Ankles flapping? Do you think so? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> they'd give him like fish. I don't think they'd do like feathery they'd ones. They'd give him fish wings? Yeah, something like that, you know what I mean? Okay, sure. I don't know. They've got to give him something because otherwise he's just a flying man in a Speedo. The general public are not ready for that. So they've <laughs> got to give him something. I think they will give him the little wings. Anyway, speaking of little wings and yeah. big wings and ridiculous dumb wings mm. and ridiculous powers, also I think they should give back Falcon's ability to talk to birds. I agree. He gets a blow to the head yep. and he wakes up and he's like, that's Sparrow's talking to me. Or he thinks it is. Yeah, he's gone mad. <laughs> good, good. Excellent. Uh, let's do some villains. We can rapid fire them, or okay. we can just get stuck on one for a really long time. That's I would love to do that one. <laughs> okay, yeah. good. It doesn't have to be the first one, but it can be. Batroc the Leaper has uh, surprisingly made a few appearances in the MCU. He's got wild, a, isn't it? I know, it really is. He's got a tactical suit. He's doing his leaping. He's got a sort of a similar color scheme. And again, yeah. again, in that vision, like more nuanced. Yes. You know, you, what you want though in a Batroc the Leaper is you want just a just a fully purple bodysuit or whatever yep. he's got going and, yeah, on. You and know? big yellow underpants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't forget the goatee. Yeah. The big moustache and goatee. And you want a shirt that says love to leap. That's right. You know, just so it's comic book accurate. And just anything he's doing, he's just two foot leaping it. Like yeah. he's, he's getting into a toilet door at a restaurant. Yeah, he's yeah. two foot leaping two it. Foot leaping you know what I mean? That's right, yeah. He's coming down the aisle to get married. Yeah. He's two foot leaping it. He's doing the high jump at the Olympics. Two foot leap. Didn't, <laughs> didn't make it. Bad, bad job. <laughs> but two foot leaping's all he knows. It's all he knows. That's right. Uh, then we've got the Mandarin. Yeah. We're going to be seeing very soon. The real Mandarin. We've had various yeah. incarnations. And, and, you know, and, and the comic book version is very much sort of like a Genghis Khan yeah. styled warlord, you know? And sometimes he's got a nice suit on, but yeah. sometimes. They've changed it up also more recently because of certain stereotypes. But yeah, initially he's just like a cackling Fu Manchu looking idiot. Yes. Essentially. And I can see why they moved away from this and why they didn't want to tackle it for so long. But you're saying bring it back. No, this, I'm not saying that. I mean, look, hey, if you were to take a swipe at this, <laughs> let's see it. If you think you can do it, yeah. you should do it. Yeah. Let's see it. Kevin Feige, road test it yourself at Comic-Con. <laughs> just, put it, just put it on and see how it goes. And I also just want to quickly talk about Zola. Because Zola from the comic books, he does end up in a big computer screen multiple right, times. Yes. But he's in a big clanky robot. Yeah. And he just wasn't in a big clanky robot. At no point has he been in a big clanky robot. Of course, they put him on They put him on screen. Yep. They put him on a USB drive. He actually did go into a robot in the Captain America video game, which is an in-between call. Ah. He's jumping in and out of robots and you fight him in boss battles, but he ends up back in a human body. That's canonical, maybe, or maybe it isn't. I want to talk about a few more, though, before Go we on. wrap things up. Please. So, Netflix... It's one we can get stuck on, hopefully. Yeah, let's find out. Right. Netflix, I think they have some pretty decent ones, some uh, some not-so-good ones, some translations that work, others that don't. I think Iron Fist is bad, because they never really attempted it. Mm -hmm. I think Daredevil is good. Mm -hmm. I think that evolved in a way that was natural and, and felt more real-worldy. And I think uh, Luke Cage, they went... All we have to do is put a yellow shirt on a man. Yes. Thank God. This was easy. They briefly did the tiara though, didn't they? They did. It's true. Uh, but the Punisher, now he often wears a trench coat and he's got the skull. That's like his look now. The modern era, yeah. Yes. It's just very much like more or less kind of like civilian bulletproof vest, coat, something like that, leather jacket, something like that. Just a t-shirt with a skull on it. But original recipe, the Punisher. Yeah, yeah. He's a real, he's a he's a man in a, in a skin tight onesie with some white booties and gloves. God Just damn, I love that look too. Right? You don't want to see that? No, I want to see that. And the and the and the bullet belt around his waist makes up the teeth of the skull. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yes, please. Spectacular. Yeah. It might be something you'd see in that Punisher arcade game, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just going for it. Might be if he showed up in WandaVision, that's how he'd look. Yeah. Probably. Embarrassing is how he'd look. <laughs> I like it. You couldn't pick anything up. You'd get a your gloves would get all dirty. That's true. Mm. That's true. I've got one more though, and it's actually for an upcoming character that we have seen in previous movies in a previous universe. But Blade, you might know him as the all leather. He's got the sword on the back, you know, the bulletproof vest. He's doing mm. a spin kick as many as you can see. Sunglasses, night and day. He's got the fangs. He's got a sweet <laughs> ass haircut. He's got the widow's peak. Oh, he's got that fade. Oh my god. Yeah. You can't stop him. Mm. 
Mm. But that was a look that was invented for the movies. Yeah. What did Blade originally look like? British. <laughs> yes. The worst way you can look. And if you're thinking, well, what, like Austin Powers, uh, you're not that far off. He's got some jodhpurs, he's got some knee high boots, like yep. a like he's got he does have that disco collar. Yeah. He's got some he's got some like uh like some big stoner glasses. They're like got a yellow tint to him. He's yeah. got a big afro. Yep. He's got a big safari jacket. Oh my god, he's got it all. <laughs> he certainly has. He's got a lot of whatever it is. Bring back whatever whatever that is, yeah, baby. They have Groovy to. baby. They have to do the Wesley Snipes thing though, don't they? They should really? yeah, I think so, yeah. At this yeah. point, there's no going back to No. I mean, as soon as they did that look in the movies, they went for the comics. Oh yeah, we should <laughs> actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. we should, right? Yeah, and also he was hypnotized to think he was British. He's actually not British. Oh wow. No, he is British. Okay. He's still British. Still British in the comics, but they just there's really yeah, they just, hang on to that. I mean, everybody just imagines him American. But, yeah. Uh, there you uh, go. He's from Old Blighty. He's going down the chippy. He'd have to be. That's right. Get some vinegar on those chips. He'd say to himself. Yeah. Yeah. One deep fried kebab, he says, and then I'm going to kill some vampires <laughs> after I put this down. It's got garlic on it. That's how yeah. he does it. Uh, anyways, look, if you've got any other ones that you're like, that one's not even accurate and yeah. I'd like to see it, or that's not accurate and good because it's a bad one, yeah. we'd love to hear it. Maybe who, we'll come back would, to this. Who would you be your favourite superhero to go down the chippy with? Mm, you know? Someone fun. Someone who'd pay. Tony Stark. Would he? Just Tony Stark's wallet because he's dead now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm fine with that. All right. Uh, this has been a video, though. And guess what? You can actually get a lot of these videos early at bigsandwich.co. Plus our podcast, The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. That comes out a day early. We also do movie commentaries. We also have bonus podcasts. Caravan of Garbage goes up there early, doesn't it, Mason? Sometimes there's a video where we go to the chippy. Sometimes there is. That's coming not actually up. actually not true, but we but can do mind. it. Might we can be. do it. I do it. It might be. Maybe I'm just hungry. Maybe he's just hungry. I'm Mr. Sunday Movies on Twitter. I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. We'll see you in the next one. We're going to wrap that, Jamie, you guys. We'll see you real soon. Thank you.